Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you three tips for getting better results with Camtasia Screencast on YouTube. Let's start with tip number one. Tip number one is to record your screencast at 640 by 480. And the reason you want to do this is that regardless of what size you record your screencast, YouTube is going to convert it to 320 by 240. So for best results, you want to have your screencast on something that easily scales to 320 by 240. 640 by 480 is twice that, so it works out quite well. The, the way that I, I get my screens to automatically scale is I use a program called Sizer. And with Sizer, I can take a screen like this and right click and it shows me different sizes of screen sizes. So if I want to resize this screen to 640 by 480, I just click it and it resizes exactly to the size that I want for this screencast. Sizer is a free program and you can download it at this address. So tip number one is to record in screen dimensions that are easily scaled for YouTube. Now tip number two is to use the zoom feature of Camtasia when you edit. With the zoom feature, you can zoom into any areas of the screen to show fine detail that won't show up on YouTube. To use zoom and pan, you just place your marker on the time timeline where you want the zoom to start and click zoom and pan and then fill out the fields here at zoom and pan. It's relatively easy to do, only takes a few seconds and allows you to zoom into areas. So tip number two is to use zoom to get fine detail. Now, tip number three is that when you're finished editing and you're ready to produce, Produce the video in a format that YouTube can easily convert. And what I found the best results that I get is by producing the video as WMV. To do that, you click Produce Video As. And on the Production Widget screen, you select Custom Production Settings and then click Next. And on the Production Widget screen, you select WMV and click Next. And on the Production Widget screen, second page, you'll want to select the Camtasia Studio Screen Video and Audio CBR, which stands for Constant Bit Rate, as the profile, and make sure the screen capture profile is selected here, and then click Next. And on the video size, you want the largest video size, and it should be the same size of your screen capture window, which in this case was 640 by 480, and then click Next. And on the video options, you're not going to do anything with this since it's going to go up to YouTube, so just click Next. And the marker options, again, you're not going to do anything, so click Next. And then the final step is to give your video a name. And then click Finish. Now when the video is, uh, is completed rendering, you'll see it creates three files. And the only file that you're interested in uploading will be the WMV file. Upload that to YouTube. And you notice that on this particular video that I just did, the video is 10 minutes long. And it, the content size was 10 megabytes. So it takes about a megabyte per minute at the 640 by 480 with Camtasia Studio. And those are the three tips that uh, I suggest you use to get better results when you create Camtasia videos for YouTube. Those tips are one, record in 640 by 480 mode. Two, use the zoom feature to zoom in to find detail on your video screen. And three, render in a format that is, works well with YouTube, and that's the WMV using the screencast profile from Camtasia. I'm Bill Myers. To find more videos and tips like this, visit www.bmyers.com.